Hello everyone, my name is Raj and thank you for tuning to this channel. We are making a series in which I am building this tiny house and the next project to tackle is this door. What's special about this door is I have to do it with cement sheets because it's going to be outdoor. Second, I want to use a CNC machine which I have to make some good design like this. I want to pour epoxy to define the edges and second, I need to put a glass so that I can see outside. I want to do all of this in this video and I'll show you how. This is a cement sheet that we CNC cut in our mission and uh, it's a pretty good design. I'll show you a close up. Uh, I made some grooves inside and uh, isko polish kiya hai melamine se aur abhi e grooves mein epoxy pour karne wale hai. So here's the design. Uh, aap ek close up dek sakte ho. All the grooves. The white thing is just dust. Now, we will pour the epoxy in the grooves. These grooves I have terminated from the wrong side. I have not kept any boundaries. This means that there are chances of going out of the epoxy. So, that's why we have masking tape. This is at least a work of 3 hours. So, we are going to take our time because we can be able to get out of the spillage. So, we are going to take our time and do it properly. And of course, one important thing to remember is always put a newspaper below because epoxy, you think that you are careful to be careful, it will not spill, but it always spills, it always spills, it always makes a mess. So newspaper is a must. This is a brand of epoxy that uh, we actually produce. This is available on Amazon and on our website also. Uh, this is a 1000 ml and the clear that comes with it is 500 ml so together it comes to about one and a half liters of epoxy is there online if you want to use it just go and purchase it and help us in our uh, endeavors so let's mix this This is the color uh, of epoxy. I put some uh, gold powder inside. When I bring it to the sun, then you can see how it glitters. Even in the dark, it is much fine and much better. If I could get a proper focus. Now, let's start pouring. There are two ways to actually pour epoxy in a very minute place. That is to use a syringe or just press your cup uh, to a sharp point so that you just get a fine line but either ways you it's going to spill a little uh, outside the groove and you have to be just very slow and careful about it This is the gold dust that I am using. It can be actually mixed with a lot of things like you can mix it with the clear paint, you can mix it with epoxy, you can mix it actually they do sprinkle it over the food also. The reason that I poured the first layer in yellow and then I am doing this dust is if I mix this directly to epoxy, it doesn't shine as much as it shines when I just blow it on the top. So this is the process that I invented or I made myself comfortable with over the period of time. The yellow layer is also required and the gold dust on the top is also required.
The cement sheet is polished with melamine and we let it dry for almost uh, 3 to 4 days because it has to become really solid and crisp and only then we can pour this uh, gold dust on top of it. Still the gold dust because it is so minute it went and settled inside the crevices and I had to use a wet rag to remove it. It was not easy but there is no other way to do this. There was a metal frame that I had done before and the cement sheet was screwed to it using self tapping screws. And then here Deva is actually wiping up the glass which is going to go behind this door. And we are fixing this glass using silicone because glass works best with silicone. We put dots wherever it is not going to show and then we just pressed it against it. And then after that I was able to put this white painted cement sheet at the back. As you can see the design is kind of mirrored and this is also where I wasted another sheet because it did not click me that it has to be mirrored. So the design on the front and the design at the back is actually a mirror and we were able to sandwich the glass in between and put uh, studs on all four corners. Now it is almost done. I am sorry I could not show you the CNC process of it. We actually wasted uh, two cement sheets doing this. That is because I had to set the thickness of the farm leaves to do a trial and error and usme wo toot bhi gaya tha. But other than that I was able to show you how we pour the epoxy and uh, how we sandwich the glass between two sheets so that we can get a mirror image like this. And if you stayed this far thank you so much you are a true fan. We do upload garden videos also in this channel and there is a separate playlist in the description. I hope to see you in the next Friday video.